now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. We lead off on the diamond. The Scott City boys and girls playing at home tonight. The Rams baseball team looking to continue its red hot pace against Woodland. And man, they really started fast. Doesn't start much faster than your leadoff guy getting an extra base hit. Mark Panagas just puts that one right in the gap. Skyler Cobb, boy, he's done a great job with this ball club. His player ends up at second base. And then Kobe Watson hits it about as hard as you'll see a high school player hit a baseball. That just disappears out there by the trees. I don't know where it landed, but it's way out there. And it was five to nothing. This Scott City is no joke. A state contender. They improve to 23 and two. Blake Wilburn, a complete game shutout for the Rams as well. Hey, let's head on over to the Scott City softball diamond. They were hitting as well. Ava Huckstep would step up, run around, and it is gone. She's got herself a two-run homer. More celebrating. They're only about 25 yards away. I'm probably wrong on that, but they are really, really close. Those two diamonds, almost right next to each other. And Scott City just kept pouring it on. Uh, Mackenzie Lawless drills this one, and Scott City wins big 13-4 over Potosi. Popper Bluff baseball team taking on Park Hills, playing a little bit of small ball, but scoring big. The Mules lay down the perfect bunt and play the perfect game. They win 15 to nothing. Colby Greenwell also hit for the cycle. Cardinals and D-backs. Paul Goldschmidt, where's the bat been? It's back. He hits a homer in the seventh, knocked this game up at three, and then We'll head to the ninth, and I don't know about you, but Nolan Gorman, if you're on the other team, he puts about as much fear as anybody. He is one bad dude. That's a two-run walk-off homer, 5-3, and that ends a Cardinals four-game losing streak, and they celebrate. Notre Dame girls soccer team hosting St. Pius. Maya Thetbu will tie it right there. Ties it up at two, and Notre Dame had some chances to try to win this thing in regulation and in overtime but couldn't get it done there. And then St. Pius wins it in a shootout. Uh, they won, it was 2-2, and then they win it in the shootout. Uh, that's the bottom line. Jackson girls soccer team beats Popper Bluff 2-0. A big day for the Popper Bluff uh, golf team at the Melville Invitational. They win, and Lawson Barks claims medalist. By the way, Jackson finished second and Dexter third. A new era begins for the Three Rivers College men's basketball team. Three Rivers, uh, Robert Kirby takes over as head coach. Uh, Brian Bess, who served as the head coach for the past four years after being served, after being the longtime assistant under his dad, Gene Bess, he's a Naismith Hall of Famer, 50 years, incredible. Now back to Robert Kirby, played on the 1979 Raiders National Championship team, inducted into the Three Rivers Hall of Fame in 2020. Kirby most recently served as an assistant coach at Kennesaw State, two years at Ole Miss, and five years on Patrick Ewing's staff at Georgetown. Kirby is recognized as one of the top recruiters in the nation by some services. Three Scott County Central student athletes signing on to play college basketball today. Reagan Evans, the first to sign with Cotty College uh, for the women's team. They're next up. Uh, Namarius Banks Warren signs on with Missouri Valley College. Awesome to see them getting the applause that they're getting and much deserved for sure. And the third Scott County Central standout, this guy worked his tail off for everything. Got Asher Britt signs with Quincy University. So, hey, how does it feel to be at a chance to play at the next level? I've always wanted to play college basketball since I was younger, so the fact that I finally get to, it's really exciting. I mean, it's a dream come true. I've been thinking about this since I was like six years old, watching my brother play. It just feels like all the hard work's paid off and that I can just continue my basketball career and just keep the ball rolling. Congrats and good luck to these outstanding Scott County Central student athletes. Administration did a great job with the event. SEMO basketball team signs junior college transfer Troy Cole Jr. from Highland Community College in Illinois. Cole Jr. is a 6'5 wing, was the Cougars' top scorer last year, 16 points per game. And SIU basketball coach Scott Nagy gets his first commit. The Salukis get a big guy, Jaheim Weber. He's a 6'10 center out of Normal, Illinois. Weber, by the way, averaged 10 points and 6 rebounds 
played at the biggest school that you could and did quite well. We're going to take a time out and finish it up after this.